Hello guys and welcome to Free Birds Crew. Do you know how decision trees actually work? Do you know how they are used in regression and classification tasks? So if you don't, then this video is best for you. So let me just explain you what are decision trees first. So the decision trees are actually supervised machine learning algorithms that can be used for classification as well as regression tasks because it can work on both the categorical data as well as the continuous data. Okay, tree-based algorithms have the power to build the predictive models with high accuracy, stability, along with the interpretability because this is the a series of explainable AI machine learning algorithms. So I will be making that sure it has the interpretation part. So decision trees has the in interpretation part. It can help you interpret your predictions as well. It works best with the non-linear data. Okay, so if you have the non-linear data, have some kind of a missing values or outliers in that case, this is the best for you. Okay, and in this technique, we split the whole data set into two or more homogeneous sets based on the better split and uh, to get our decision tree output at the end of the prediction. Okay, so let me just show you a simple example. So you see on my screen, we have a dependent variable that is play. So the play has uh, some kind of uh, labels that it should play or it should not play. Okay, so play is 13 count and don't play is 9 count. Okay, so we have 13 labels of play and 9 labels of not play. And we have another uh, independent feature that is called Outlook. And Outlook has uh, three labels. That first is sunny, overcast and rain. And based on the sunny feature, we have six plays and six don't plays. And based on the overcast feature, four plays and one don't plays and along with the rain as well. And we have two more features as well. What is the humidity and second is the windy. And for the humidity and windy, we have the other parts as play and don't play in that part. So in this way, this tree kind of structure will build. And this tree kind of structure will help us to uh, predict that uh, what are the chances of the person is going, going to play if the we weather conditions, humid condition and wind conditions are like that. Okay, so in that way, your tree structure is going to build internally in the decision tree. Okay, and decision tree working is explained at a very high level. It selects the best attribute based on the attribute selection measures. And these selection measures are entropy, information gain, and uh, guinea impurity to split the record. I will explain about entropy, information gain, and guinea impurity in our next video with proper examples that how it splits the decision trees as well. Okay, so for now, you just need to understand it's at a very high, high level how it works. Okay, it first splits the your complete data on the best attribute or best column it can find, which has the high information gain. Okay, then it make that attribute a decision node and break into the smaller part like this. It just splits them into the smaller parts here. And then it start building the tree by repeating the same process. Okay, so it first like choose this variable. Okay, this variable is to choose by the high information gain feature. Then it just split into its three parts. Then for this part, it again choose the which is the best and then split again. Okay, in that way, this tree will gonna split until the end or until which we mention that how far it's gonna go. Okay, as you just see that there are no remaining attributes or no remaining uh, instances. It will uh, split un until that. Okay, so this is how it's gonna work. Data, train data, test data. Training will go to the best attribute measures to build a decision tree. And then it, our test data is used to model evaluation on the basis of the matrices we have. Okay, and we have two types of decision trees we have. First is a, a regression decision tree. Second is a classification decision trees as well. And for categorical variables, we use the uh, classification uh, decision trees because it's used to predict the uh, categorical variables like yes or no. It is a binary. It is a multiple problems whenever it can be. And along with we have the regression as well. So regression, it, it predicts the continuous target variables as well. Okay. I'm giving, giving an example here as well. Let's say we have a problem and want to predict whether a customer will pay his renewal premium with an insurance company or not. It is a binary classification problem. We want to predict 
yes or no so here we know the income of a customer is significant variable okay we know that the in income is significant variable but insurance company does not have the income detail for all the customer now as we know this is a important variable then we build a decision tree to predict the customer income based on the occupation okay first we build a regression decision tree to predict the income and and then on the basis of that we are predicting the insurance company whether it will pay his renewal premium with the insurance company yes or no so this is this is kind of a both problems we have regression as well as classification okay so i hope you guys completely understand about this that how decision trees uh, work inter internally at a very high level and uh, on which base it splits the nodes it splits the node on basis of the high information gain okay and low impurity and uh, and this is the like a uh, basic uh, terminologies that we have in the decision tree that is first is the root node we have then it is the sl splitting started and it will make that de decision nodes okay from that decision nodes it then make the other leaf nodes or terminal nodes kind of thing as well so all the nodes at the end are called leaf nodes or the terminal nodes because after that split does not happen and between the leaf nodes and the root node all other nodes are decision nodes okay and uh, what is pruning pruning i will also explain in our next video the as well and what about the subtree subtree is a part of a tree and what is the parent and child node the parent and child node is just, just like a thing that uh, we have this root node is called a parent node and decision tree is called a child node and decision node is, is also a parent node for the terminal node here okay so in that way we can uh, easily uh, say that this is how decision trees are and this is how it works okay so we, we will meet in our next video in which i explain that how decision trees actually splits the data on the base of entropy information gain and gain impurity with the mathematics and all the examples we have and we will be able to build a decision tree as well and guys thank you so much we'll meet in our next video for sure